uh, we believe we can work together to help set standards around the world. We've had somewhat different approaches to doing so in our previous uh, FTAs, but I think our goals remain quite aligned in terms of, of trying to achieve that. You know, I just came back from, I was in Vietnam last week with President Obama, where we spent a lot of our time talking about uh, TPP and the labor provisions of TPP and the quite remarkable changes that Vietnam has agreed to undertake in terms of reforming its labor market because of TPP and because it had binding enforceable provisions that made it clear that, that Vietnam would not get access to our market unless and until they had fulfilled their uh, labor reform obligations and they are now moving ahead to do just that. So. First, we think it is very important that we have strong labor obligations. We think in order to have a strong obligation, it needs to be fully enforceable, including through the availability of trade sanctions, just like any commercial provisions of, uh, the, of the agreement. Uh, we think that that's as a, a best practice of sorts that has, really helps encourage countries uh, to do that. Um, and we look forward to working with the EU on that. I think in terms of engagement with labor, we have an ongoing dialogue with labor. We have somewhat different ways of doing it in the U.S. and the EU. We have the system that Congress created called Cleared Advisors, uh, where we have a labor advisory committee that opines not just on the labor chapter, but on the whole agreement. They see the whole agreement, they see all of our proposed text, they comment on all of it. We meet with them regularly, uh, both at the principal level, the head of the unions, as well as at the staff level, um, and we believe that's an important part of our dialogue with them, as well as our dialogue with members of Congress who have labor issues as a, as a priority issue. And the same is true whether it's on the environment or uh, consumer rights or, or other issues that are important in the agreement. 